here. We have, we have been molested. We don't know what to do. Thursday, November 10, 2016, in Boya, the southwest regional capital. This anglophone lawyer has just been physically assaulted by the security forces. Look at look, a senior colleague is terrible. Me fully. Look at look at what is going on. Yeah, let us go. We have been maltreated. As if elsewhere, another lawyer is hijacked publicly by element of the National Gendarmerie. These other lawyers say they have been chased out of their hotel rooms by the forces of law and order, and all their properties. Cease, including their wheat. Nigeria will come here to demonstrate our anger against the system, against the regime, the oppressive laws, the abuse of the common law. But they have gone into all the hotels and ransacked them, seizing lawyers from, sending lawyers out of the hotel room, blocking all lawyers not to get access to even their goods. Our wife was seized, my, my wife was seized, and a senior lawyer was molested by the forces of law and order. It's a very shameful country. The lawyers, where, where are people going to now? We don't know. We are, we are, we are, we are being molested. We don't know what to do. Our hopes are seized. So we don't know. Concluding that it is an attempt by the Cameroon government to puncture their protest demonstration today, Thursday, in Boya, the southwest regional capital. Inalienable human rights are being violated in broad daylight. It's funny. It's unacceptable. It's something we cannot accept. And we are determined to push our course till the end. Boya is not the same again. The town is heavily militarized, sending panicking waves into the people. From mile 17 motor park, Moliko, and checkpoint. All are colonized by security forces. The way in and out of the court premise have also been blocked. The southwest governor's residence entrance is also heavily guarded. It is trembling at every major entrance of the town.